What's up everybody, Cody from Detroit Speed here and in this project update video, we're gonna talk all about Rogers 1968 Ford Mustang. So I know you're just about done with the gaps. This is the last one you're working on, right? Just the passenger hood. Yeah, we kind of come across back here, tighten it up to the cowl. I think this one I'll leave in going down the fender. Play with this headlight bucket. Gonna put the front bumper on, suck it in as close as we can, tuck the ears. Gonna give the valence a little bit of a Shelby flare and then make a nice front air dam to really complete the Trans Am look. So are we kind of going for like a modern day Trans Am type feel with this? So the outside's gonna be very, very stock feel with a little bit of race inspiredness. We're gonna have ET mini light looking wheels on the front of it. Again, that spoiler is really gonna muscle it up a bit, but outside staying relatively stock looking. Same with the interior. We're gonna just, we got our car specialist in there. We're gonna have some nice classic instruments. We are keeping the fold down rear seat, which has been a little bit of a daunting task getting the fit with our tubs in there. I said, how much did we have to shorten it with the tubs? I want to say, I think we took about two or three inches out of it to get it to fit in there. Okay. But you got to have the 315s on a DSE car. Right, at a, at a minimum. Well, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the bare minimum to get in. Get in 335s the door, you, if you can. But. Get in the door, you need 315s. <laughs> out back, we've been playing with the trunk. That one just needs a little bit more fine tuning. Get these end caps looking good. We let engineering upstairs have a lot of fun. With our, with our gas cap. Nice so little Easter egg on it. So this is actually 3D printed stainless. Yes, it is. How long does it take to print something like this, do you know? That is a question for the guys upstairs. <laughs> I give them an idea and they run with it. Nate upstairs really just had a lot of fun getting it all looking good. We actually just got it back in about a week ago. Cause that's pretty much like the original Mustang. Yeah, we took the original from... Mustang vibe and just got rid of the pony and put a little Detroit Speed oval in it. Nice. On this table, keeping with that nice 60s race vibe, we went to Momo, got one of their heritage rims, and that nice stacked wood shift knob that's gonna look good on top of a round Hurst handle. That's super nice. That's really gonna bring it all together in there. Underside, we got the exhaust all buttoned up, the fuel lines are all ran up to that big illuminator. Driver's side, all done, gapped, ready for body work. Of course, before it goes over there, we're gonna blast it. Get, get all the huh, 40 years of sins off of it. <laughs> I really like that we're keeping like the factory style look, but we deleted the vents out of there. Yeah, really just kind of, I was kind of a bunch of guys. We're all trying to figure out what to do with it since they are not really needed anymore. And where we have the computer behind the fender, we would have water draining out on it and just, you know, get rid of them, clean it up. Yeah, and we, we don't need the vents anyway since we're getting the vintage air. Yeah, know, vintage so. air takes care of all that. It actually deletes a lot of that stuff and makes it kind of obsolete. Under hood, we've been uh, buttoning up all that plumbing, hard lining, just about everything we can on the illuminator. We got the PCV, waiting off a couple couple bits for the PCV. I mean, well, we got the hard line for the vacuum for the PCV done, vacuum to the Holly regulator out back, hard lined our coolants and everything, changed up a little bit of how Ford Wanted to run heater stuff, just didn't vibe with our fuel. I know you relocated the oil filter to... So the illuminator is a a big motor to fit. Even though we got our Aluma frame in there, it still just doesn't quite fit. So we relocated it out using a bunch of Earl's products. And then I know a bunch of people on Instagram are wondering, we got a nice splash shield up in there to protect it, keep everything safe and sound. Nice. Our bare brakes came in. We're going to be test fitting them relatively soon. Make sure that's all copacetic and then, yeah, just blow her apart, finish up what we got to finish up and get it out the door. Yeah, I really can't wait to see what this car looks like in bare metal. Coming up soon is going to be a nice little treat from engineering also. Been playing a little bit with the grill. Ooh. Really think everyone out there is going to really like what we did there. Nice. So looking forward to that. Overall, man, she's getting close. It's going to look good in red. Well, that's it for this month's project update vlog. Hopefully on the next one, we're gonna have a certain brown car back here in the shop from interior. Super excited to show that one off. So we'll see you next time.